Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice functional equation with cubes. We have f of x minus 1 over x equals x cubed minus 1 over x cubed. We've done some similar problems before. I hope I haven't made the exact same problem. If I did, I apologize. And you're going to let me know, right? So, to be able to solve this problem, I'm thinking about two different methods. And let's start with the first one. So for my first method, since I'm trying to solve for f, in other words, I'm looking for an expression for f of x in terms of x, right? And the variable here doesn't really matter. You can find f of t, f of x, and then you can always replace whatever the variable is with x. So I'm going to go ahead and set this equal to something. Obviously, it's not going to be x because if you set x minus 1 over x equal to x, then you're going to get something interesting. You're going to get 1 over x equals 0 which actually doesn't have a solution, right? It's going to be x equals infinity, or oh, that's not a number, so it's not going to work. And this is not a good idea. You don't use the exact same variable. You use a different variable. And let's just say we use a t, because t is uh, one of my favorite variables. And now let's see what happens on the right-hand side, right? So our goal is the following. We're going to set x minus 1 over x equal to t. And then from here, we're going to solve for x in terms of t, and then that expression we will plug in on the right hand side. Make sense? So that's, that's going to give us something in terms of t. So let's find out what x is from here. So let's multiply everything by x. x squared minus 1 equals tx. And then x squared minus tx plus, wait a minute, where does the plus come from? <laughs> minus 1 equals 0. And if you use the quadratic formula, negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, that should be a positive 4 divided by 2. All right, that radical is too long. Uh, let's make it a little shorter, like this. Now, we can basically plug this in, right? Because now we've got x in terms of 2. But the problem is we got two values. So what happens if you plug in each one? Do we get different answers? I mean, we shouldn't, ideally. But let's just go ahead and use the positive one, the one with the plus sign. And now our goal is to replace x with that on both sides. Obviously, you don't have to worry about the left-hand side, even though you can still do it. So what is this, uh, what is this gonna turn into? You're just gonna replace x with this, right? But then a good question would be, what is 1 over x? So if you flip this, you're going to get that. And of course, in this case, you should use the conjugate, right? Multiply by that because that's going to simplify the whole expression. And now you should be getting something nicer. Now, when you multiply these two things from difference of two squares, you should be getting t squared minus t squared plus 4, which is going to give you a negative 4, right? So these are going to cancel out. That's going to leave a negative 2 at the bottom. So that means uh, we can basically write this, but we kind of have to switch these around like this and divide by 2. Make sense? That's going to be my 1 over x. And of course, when you subtract them, the radicals are going to cancel out. And t minus negative t is going to be 2t or not 2t, right? And we're going to get f of t from here. So that makes sense, obviously. We didn't have to check this, but it's good to see that it's working. So let's go ahead and use this on the, on the right-hand side. So we know that we're going to get f of t from the left. And on the right-hand side, remember, we had x cubed minus 1 over x cubed. And we're replacing x with that, right? And we're using this, actually. So it's going to be t plus the square root of t squared plus 4 over 2 cubed minus 1 over x cubed. And remember, 1 over x is this, right? So we're just going to cube it and subtract it. Great. So now we have difference of two cubes, which is obviously factorable. You can just go ahead and factor it, right? How do you factor it? Well, a cubed minus b cubed uh, can be factored into a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. You hopefully know that. Either that method or I don't know. We can just expand it, maybe, right? Uh, I'll probably do this then. Uh, let's go ahead and cube this and cube that. 
subtract them and divide by the common denominator which is going to be 8 in this case and if I cube everything here um, either using an identity or some formula for example a plus b cube is going to be a cubed plus b cubed when you cube this it's going to give it's going to give you uh, this something like this a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab this, this is probably going to be a uh, long expression <laughs> anyways we could also switch this around to uh, kind of make it look symmetrical but anyways times uh, this plus this okay so that should be the first one it's basically this right whatever so if you simplify this a little bit and subtract it obviously some of the terms are going to cancel out well, let's go ahead and find out what the second term is going to be you cube the first one And then you cube the second one and subtract, right? And then minus 3ab, which is going to look like this, right? And then I'm going to multiply that by a minus b, which is the same expression inside the parentheses. And that's what it's going to look like. And of course, we're supposed to subtract these things. So you, you want to negate the second expression and just add. So this is going to be a minus sign. This is going to be a plus sign. And this is going to be a plus sign. Make sense? And now we can go ahead and add these. Anything cancels out? I think so. For example, these two terms are going to cancel out. T cubed is not going to cancel out. And this, when distributed, is probably going to give us something that cancels out. And you know what that is? Actually, it's going to be the minus T and the T. So we could probably just cancel these out so we don't distribute over them. Make sense? So here's what we're going to get. T cubed plus T cubed is going to be 2T cubed plus... When you distribute this, it's going to be 3t times this times that is actually going to be t squared plus 4, right? It should be that. And then we're getting that thing one more time. So we might as well just multiply by 2, right? So it should look like this, I guess, if I didn't make any mistakes. And of course, don't forget to divide by 8 at the end. You should divide by 8, right? Cool. Anyways, you can simplify this. It should give you something like uh, 6t cubed and then plus 2t cubed because when you probably I'm gonna put make it a 6 here so less confusing 8t cubed and then this is gonna be 24t divided by 8 this should be t cubed plus 3t hmm. interesting I was expecting something a little different but let's go ahead and take a look at the second method and see what that gives us hopefully that'll shed some light okay so f of x minus 1 over x equals x cubed minus 1 over x cubed. So here's the second method. Actually, the second method is pretty short, and it uses an identity. And that identity is the following. If you cube a minus b, you cubed a cubed, you cubed, you get a cubed minus b cubed minus 3ab multiplied by a minus b. So that's what I'm going to apply here. This is my a, that's my b. So f of x minus 1 over x. So I'm probably going to do this. Uh, I will write it as a cube first, so like this, okay, I'm going to cube it, it's going to be x cubed minus 1 over x cubed, and then minus 3x minus 1 over x is going to give me just a 3, and then x minus 1 over x, awesome. And then my goal is to isolate this, so let's go ahead and do that, x cubed minus 1 over x cubed is going to be, here we go, this is why we have a plus sign, because the stuff will appear on the other side makes sense now this makes more sense and now i have the following f of x minus 1 over x by the way it was equal to this remember right is equal to this so this is going to be super nice because remember we use substitution but we had to do a lot of work with radicals but take a look if you just replace this with something like t or z or whatever um, then you're going to get something like this let's use t again f of t equals t cubed because this is t and that's t plus 3t and that's just awesome and this brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye